Do you want to be seen by more people on YouTube? Then it's time to consider vertical streaming. In today's video, we're going to go over multi-streaming to the YouTube Shorts feed and how it can help boost your viewership and grow an audience, all using Atom's OBS plugin. Now, before we get started on how to set up your YouTube Shorts live feed for multi-streams, don't miss out on the latest trends and how-to videos surrounding the streaming world. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of more content like this where we go over all the latest trends and tips and tricks revolving around the stream world. Recently, we've seen a shift happening in the world of short form video content. And while TikTok has long been the go-to for getting in front of brand new audiences, lately there has been a noticeable decline. YouTube Shorts, however, has seen a rise in both its usage and engagement at the same time. The great thing about YouTube is that the requirements to go live on the vertical feed are much easier to attain than those of TikTok. YouTube also allows its creators to integrate its short form content into a platform that is already housing their long form content and their streams. Now, while these features alone are great, it's also important to note that YouTube has a broader demographic when it comes to its viewership, whereas TikTok has been known to be largely a young adult and teen community. With a broader demographic and monetization options like super chats, ads, and memberships, YouTube has set itself up to quickly take over the short form content world. So here's how you set up your vertical live stream from OBS using Atom's vertical plugin. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna go over to atom.tv. From there, you're gonna click on products in the top left corner and select vertical. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna see this page here. We're gonna go down and click on download vertical. Um, and then once that's downloaded, you're gonna go ahead and run that installer. Now, again, this is only available for OBS. So make sure you have OBS. Um, and then once that's downloaded, we're gonna go into and open up our OBS. Um, so you'll see here, we have our typical horizontal canvas that we, we have. And then uh, you'll see now that you have this vertical canvas as well. So what we're going to want to do is go in and, and set up the canvases the way that you would like them to look. Um, so your horizontal, you've got, you know, your kind of typical layout for it. Vertical, I always suggest, you know, put your camera at the top. Um, gameplay right below that. You could go in and add maybe some overlays and things if you really wanted to. Um, but one thing I would say to keep in mind that with Atom, you're able to use that to clip uh, portions of your streams and use those later to make content for things like TikTok and so on. So if you want to use it for that purpose, you may not want all those overlays on there. So once we've got the canvas set up the way we want, what we're going to want to do is go back over to YouTube at this point. So we're going to go to our YouTube. If we are on our typical channel, just to kind of give you an idea of where to go once you're there. Um, when you're on your channel, the top right here, you're going to see this button that says create. It looks like a little camera. You're going to click on that and you're going to click go live. So once we've done that, it's going to bring us here to this manage page. You'll see I've already got a couple built out to show you uh, what they look like and what those settings are going to be like. But in this case, what you're going to do is come over here and click schedule stream from here. You can uh, create a new one. And then what you're going to want to do is go through and fill out all this information. So you're going to have your title for the stream, the description. Um, we'll uh, have down here your your what category you're in, what game you're playing. And then you can add things like thumbnails. I always suggest them, especially if you're going to have a horizontal stream. Um, thumbnails are what catch people's eye and bring them into the stream. Uh, so you can do that. You can add a playlist. Uh, for instance, let's say somebody had a VOD channel on their, their YouTube channel. You could go through, make that VOD playlist, put that on this. And then at the end of the stream, what it'll do is it'll push the stream over into that VOD category. Um, go down to show more and then in this section you can add those tags for your stream so once you've done that you'll click next it'll take you over to customization which is going to include some things uh for like chat settings uh, i always like to leave on things like chat replay because i think it's good for individuals that are going back to watch the vods to be able to see what you were referring to in chat if you were responding to chat um, and then invisibility the last section what it's going to do is basically have you fill in information for actually scheduling the stream. So if I was going to schedule for tomorrow, I would pick the date and then the time. Um, so in this case, I'm going to go back, just show you some that I've already done. So this is my horizontal stream that I've already set up. Um, now, when we come in here, this is where we're going to get the information that we need to set up the stream in OBS. So you'll see at the top left here, you have a select stream key. 
I've already got a horizontal and a vertical stream key created. If you don't, I would highly suggest going in and doing this. It'll make it a little bit easier when you go to set up each stream. Um, so you'll do create new stream key. At this point, you'll go ahead and name it. So again, horizontal vertical streams. Um, you can put a description if you want. I don't know that you have to have that. Um, we're always gonna leave it as a RTMP. And I would suggest never to turn on manual settings. Um, just go ahead and use the settings they have built in. So once we've done that, what we're gonna use for OBS is gonna be the stream key and the stream URL here. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and then when it comes to stream latency, uh, if you are running 1080p or below, I would suggest using ultra low latency because it'll uh, basically limit the delay between you and chat. If you are on 1440p or above, I would suggest using low latency at that point. Um, and then on the right hand side, you're going to see a couple other settings. So for it to start, when we start OBS, we're going to want to make sure that enable auto start and enable auto stop are on. Um, I always enable my DVR. And then when it comes to the last section here where it says unlist a live replay, if you don't want your VODs to show on your channel, you'll go ahead and click on that. If you want them to show on the channel, you're going to leave that unchecked. Um, so again, you're going to go back and do the same thing for your vertical stream. Um, one thing I will tell you when you're setting up a vertical stream in the title, I always like to put uh, something along the lines of like shorts live, something that will distinguish for somebody coming to the channel. Because if I go to the channel on the desktop, it's actually going to show me both streams that I've set up. So I'm going to see the horizontal and the vertical. So if there's nothing to tell me what what it looks like, I could accidentally click on the vertical one. And that's what I'm going to see from the desktop. So I think giving them a way to differentiate which one they're watching is going to be helpful. Um, another big thing is that with the chats, unfortunately, YouTube does not have a way for them to be combined right now. So if you're using something like the Caster Labs caffeinated app that I use, uh, you won't be able to combine them both at the same time on that app. So typically what I'll do for the vertical stream, I'll come over here to where the chat is. I'll click on the three dots and then I'll pop out that chat and basically just line it up right next to my other widget that I've got. All right, so once we've set up those two streams on YouTube, we're gonna come back over to OBS. And the first thing we're gonna do is go over to our horizontal and we're gonna come down to stream. Now that server URL and that server stream key that we set up on the YouTube is what we're gonna wanna use here. So you're gonna, for server, you'll put the server URL and then for stream key, you're gonna copy and paste that stream key from YouTube into that. You'll click on apply and then you'll click okay. And once we've done that, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go to our vertical plugin so we can get that server URL and stream key. We're gonna come down here to the vertical settings. Um, and in general, you're gonna wanna make sure that this is lined up as 1080 by 1920. Um, once we've done that, we're gonna go down to streaming. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that it is enabled up here. And then this is where we're gonna fill out the information for the vertical stream. Uh, so you'll wanna come in, you could just name it YouTube vertical. Um, if you had a TikTok stream key, you could put that information in here as well. You can see you can add multiple. Um, and then again, so where it says server, that's gonna be the server URL. And then where it says key, that's gonna be the stream key. Um, now, typically I'm gonna come down here and where it says video bitrate, I can run mine a little bit higher. It's really just gonna depend on your internet service. Um, so I'm gonna set up my video bitrate. And then what I like to do is set up a hotkey as well to start the stream. That way I'm not having to go into OBS to click the streaming icon every single time. Um, and then down in the bottom, what you can do is you could just check off, use main OBS settings if you're gonna be multi-streaming. That way it just uses the same settings and you're not you know, using two encoders at one time. Um, so we can do that. And then once you've done that, you're all set. You're gonna go ahead and click okay. And then from there, we are pretty much good to go. Um, now, one thing that I like to do, again, I mentioned the hotkey. If you have a stream deck, um, what I've done is set up a, a multi-tier for my starting of my stream where it will automatically make my OBS push my stream out to the horizontal. Now, what you could do is take that hotkey and include that in that list of them to start them at the same time. I hope you found this video helpful and I wanna know, do you plan to start utilizing the YouTube Shorts Live feature? If you enjoy the stream how-tos and tips and tricks, definitely check out my channel and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of the next time that we put out a video. 
if you have any questions you may even be able to get them answered live because i'm live on kick monday tuesday thursday and saturday if not you can catch me in the comments down below and i'll be sure to answer as soon as i can happy streaming everyone